Motorcycle Den. And we are in Wilmington, Ohio. Out for second day in a row. It's beautiful out. See, look. That's a cool mural. Whoever did that has skills. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that looks really good. I guess it did. We're riding out to Zanesville. Mentioned it yesterday, but we're gonna see a BD rider, I think is what his name is on um, Instagram. Yeah, so uh, that ought to be cool. And uh, we just left church and are heading on up there. It's another warm day. We are on Route 93 in Ohio. And we had just finished a meet, meet up with uh, BD Ryder. Uh, check him out on Instagram. And, uh, Met him, uh, him and his wife. Fantastic couple. They're awesome. Really, really got along great with them. And um, sorry, guys, if we put you through torture, but uh, well, I'm sure Mrs. Den probably didn't, but I might have. Torture. <laughs> yeah. For what? Meeting us. No. Oh. But uh, it was it was a lot of fun. We got we got to know a little about each other and we got uh, to show off the new bike. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Real nice. nice, nice looking bike. I like the color. He's got the uh, Road Glide I don't know, Ultra or Classic or I don't, I don't know exactly the name for it, but it's it's just like this, but it's the Road Glide style. So yeah, nice bike and. Uh, Yeah, good folks too. It was it was fun. Hopefully we can meet up for a ride sometime. Yeah. Other than Mrs. Den, I only have a couple passions in my life. And one of them is motorcycles. I had a doctor's visit the other day and the nurse was checking my pulse. And uh now I don't know if it was what was going on, but she, uh, we started talking about motorcycles. I guess because I had mentioned we had went on a trip recently, which you know, got me talking about motorcycles, so I guess I got kind of excited. Now, not that excited, not that way, but uh, I got, so uh, I'm assuming that my pulse <laughs> started going higher because I was all excited talking about motorcycles because she she's checking it, and I'm, ta I'm telling her you know, about our trip and different things. And uh, she's like, whoa, wait a minute. She said, uh, I, I need to check that again. So then I, I'm thinking, I realized that I was getting kind of excited about it, talking about the bikes and stuff. So so I'm sitting there telling myself, now calm down, just slow your heart rate, calm down. And. <laughs> This time, when she she's like, oh, that's much better. She said, that's 60, 60, or 63, or 60, or something. I don't know. So She's like, that's a lot better. I thought, I'm thinking it was probably really high. It's probably what happened, because I, I could tell myself getting, I was tell myself, I could tell that I was getting excited about, about as I was talking about the motorcycles, and YouTube came up. I don't know. I was probably rambling. Trip. Yeah. So... I don't know. I said, yeah, we have a YouTube channel, and, and, and you know, she, the wife takes pictures, and this and that. I don't know. I just thought it was a funny story. I guess not so much. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's amazing how you don't mean your body reacts when you do have a passion and a love. Yeah. It's a good thing. I think everybody needs a passion. You know, I mean, something fun that they do. You're very, you spend a lot of time at work. 
you know what I mean? Then you gotta come home, you still gotta take care of, uh, you know, just like household chores, you know. Everybody likes to clean socks and underwear, and gotta have the grass mowed, and gotta fix dinner, and you gotta clean up. You know what I mean? So you need that something fun to do. Right. As well. I mean, you gotta take care of the other stuff, but I think you need to have the fun in there, too. If yeah. not, it makes it kind of for a dreadful life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, you know that tell you has to be better type. What? I know that sounds weird to you. That does sound weird to me. Yeah, it's wrong to you, I'm sure. But as long as you have something that's passionate. Well, right. I mean, I've, I've known some people where they go to work and they go home. And they rarely, they rarely do anything else. And, you know, I just can't imagine living like that. And, I, I mean, I don't, you know. Well, it seems like they're living, they're going through life, but they're not living life. Right. That's my opinion on the subject. It does seem that way.